Hi, and welcome back to The Deborah Peters Show. So appreciate having you here, and happy New Year's Eve. This is probably the biggest day you'll ever experience in this entire year, and it's because you're putting closure on not just this month and not just this year, but an entire decade of experiences. And so this video is to give you guidance and tools to make the absolute most of this day. Don't make this day just about getting through your work and to get ready for New Year's Eve so you can go out and party, although I want you to go and have some fun, so that's important. On a higher level, make this day be about really tuning into you and taking a conscious approach to being grateful, having appreciation for your life, for who you are, and for everything that you've experienced this year because it's made you who you are today. And that person is the person that's going to do the creating for this next month, this next year, and this next decade that literally kicks off in less than 24 hours. So here are some tips and some tools that I'd like to share with you. So first off, if you're feeling any sort of sense of melancholy or in some cases uh, grief or a sense of loss, I'd like to unpack that for you because that is really normal. Whenever you set a goal or an objective for yourself or your team and you put the effort uh, of aligning with it, visualizing it, feeling it in fruition and then going ahead on the, the steps that are required on a physical level to make the connections, connect to the people, have the conversations, whatever it is that you need to do to execute, every step of the way, you're creating a larger, more expanded version of you. So essentially what's happening is your neural pathways are expanding. And because if I could just digress for a moment, when we set a goal, we actually start to cultivate neurotransmitters of thought that, that grow and develop in the uh, brain syndicate. If you don't know what the brain syndicate is, I'll put a link below in the description box so you can go ahead and research that. It's really a good idea to know how your brain fires and how your mind works so that you can actually gain some sense of, of clarity around that and guide it in the direction that you would like it to go instead of having it be guided, pulled, programmed, conditioned by the external world, by the status quo, by the media, by your boss, your clients, your spouse, or anyone else who uh, wants you to be their way in order for them to feel good and be validated and happy. So with that said, what happens is you create this neurotransmitter and it has within it, inherent within it, the growth potential to turn into the path of least resistance for you to take, to create, to actualize, to receive, to allow on a physical level, bringing into form that which you imagine in your mind and you apply feeling to and emotion to. So when you continue on the path of creating, executing, developing, growing, expanding, aligning with yourself, with the idea, with the goal, with the right people doing the right things in the right way, and that could include the wrong way too, which is another conversation. Um, I love polar opposites. It's always a fascinating conversation, but I digress. So when that happens, you actually build up a new awareness of self 
meaning you're accomplishing and expanding greater than you've ever accomplished and expanded in the past. So to do that, you actually leave behind a part of you. You leave behind the smaller, um, less evolved, less aware, less conscious version of you. And whenever we do that, we might feel a sense of loss. It might be so deep as to be described as grief. Maybe it's just a little sense of melancholy. And so sometimes this space between the holidays kind of has that feel to it. You know, when you, when, you, when you take the champagne out of it, when you take the, the laughter around the table and the beautiful feast and, and the gifts and, and all of that, if you just step back for a moment and you are allowed to allow yourself to be quiet with yourself, you might actually notice that there's a little sense of that going on. And so that's a good thing actually, because what that means is you're leaving behind this old way of being. And so when you let go of the familiar, then um, it kind of could be a bittersweet, you know, sense to it. So anytime, you know, you get the, the goal, you get the relationship, you get the next level of achievement, you get the next level of sales volume, you get the next level of market share, whatever the case is, you've basically neurologically outgrown yourself. And now there's a whole new patterning that is taking place. And with the new patterning being this expanded version of self, you really can't go back to being that smallness anymore because the universe is always expanding and we are the universe so we are always expanding and if you hold yourself back from expanding well you might find yourself to be in in a lot of pain and suffering because the greatest the greatest uh, perpetrator of fear and suffering and struggle always comes from resistance so when you're resisting your awesomeness, when you're resisting your greatness, when you're resisting your creativity, that's when you start to feel out of sorts. And the longer you let that perpetuate, the more feeling out of sorts becomes a sense of struggle and then a sense of suffering and a sense of loss. But that's a different kind of loss than leaving behind an, an older, smaller, less evolved version of you. And what's interesting with this 12 31 19 today's new year's eve uh portal closing it means that as you step through the door into the new more evolved more self-aware with more spiritual awareness you then that door dissolves so when tomorrow comes and it's january 1st 2020 you can never go back to December 31st, 2019. You can never go back to August or July or May or February of 2019. It's over. And so there's a part of you that has to accept this evolution. And this is the part of you that might feel like if you ever catch yourself saying, you know, gee, the good old days, just know that you're blocking yourself from receiving all that is in front of you because the best is yet to come. And you have no idea of how amazing that looks for you. This next month, year, and decade are unfathomable to most people. Most people just you know, goals are just ticking the box. And I'm telling you that that is not going to work anymore. You're going to find there's this sense of discontent in just ticking the box in your life. It's just not going to fly anymore. Even if you're arguing the point with me in your head right now and going, yeah, I'm good. You're going to find yourself just incredibly unfulfilled and really wondering what it is that you're not willing to look at.
and therein lies the opening. So as we close out this day, week, month, year, and decade, I'd like to invite you to release some of the narrative that goes on inside your mind, the stuff you were programmed to believe and then chose to continue to accept. Because there's one thing being programmed to have a certain model of the world, and then it's a whole other thing to continue to accept that model of the world with all of its exclusions of others, with all of its arbitrary um, points of view, false premises, um, prejudices and limitations and lacks. So continuing to perpetuate that is a choice and you don't have to choose that ever again. You can let that go. You can let the narrative go on what you were told was valuable that materialism and acquisition of status and and money and zip codes and labels is what makes you a good person you can let go of all of that you can still have those things it's not about giving those things up you know this is not new age 1980s conversation we're having here this is being in a place of spiritual awareness and experiencing all the luxury uh, that this world and this planet has to offer as long as you have the respect and the reverence for what it takes to create that because it truly is a creation that comes from the inside out it comes from your heart moves through your head into idea form and then your body goes and makes it happen. So when you understand that, then you never take anything or anyone for granted, including yourself. And that's where it all stops and starts, right there. So you just can't stay where you've been and you just can't continue to be who you are and move forward. And this is wonderful news, isn't it? Because we're all constantly evolving. And as we stay on this path of evolution, from a level of consciousness, we choose who we want to become. And then we create the space in our mind and in our heart, and we connect the two. And we allow that to come out into the world, into physical form. So, that's my message for New Year's Eve day. And just know that as this day concludes, maybe maybe tonight if you're out celebrating with friends and, and the fireworks are going off and the clock is striking midnight, you can actually set an intention and release it into the universe that you are appreciative and grateful for who you've been because who you have been has enabled you to become who you are. And with that respect and that reverence, then you allow yourself to fully blossom. And my favorite quote for this very conversation is, and the day came when the risk to remain closed in the bud became more painful than the risk to blossom. Happy New Year, blessings, and I will see you tomorrow.